What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Ottawa Senators and uh, we somehow got the third overall pick after finishing very close to a playoff berth but unfortunately not making it. We actually jump up and get the third overall pick which kind of blows my mind right there. I was not expecting that. I was looking forward to that you know like 13th, 14th area, get that uh, right-handed defenseman guy, but third overall, I guess I'll take that. Maybe there's like a left winger sniper. We need more shooters. So maybe there's something like that in that area who will be pretty much NHL ready. And then we could really, uh, really use some other prospects to uh, be able to trade for a right-handed defenseman or something like that, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, we, uh, we have a really good pick this year. So you got to be excited about that. Let's check out the draft class here. I'll start uh, pinning some guys. Uh, please be right. Nope. Of course not. Um, playmaker. There's a right wing sniper right here uh, who's right handed. We could play him, uh, you know, left wing side if we so choose. Oh, my goodness. He is good. Pro release, magic hands, and good skating. <clears throat> Excuse me. But A plus shooting, A puck skills, A minus senses, A minus. Yeah, he's good. Uh, similar to Temu Solani. You love to see that. Um, playmaker don't really need. Yeah, the playmakers we just don't really need. We have playmakers everywhere. But uh, this Lazarev guy is w something we should pick up. This guy's a, a lefty, so wouldn't really be grabbing him anyway. But now, when it comes down to it, the guy 13th overall, probably not going to be able to grab, even though I kind of still want to grab him. He's not going to be insanely good, but he's got that medium elite potential. I uh, could still trade for that pick with something that's kind of out of this world. Like, I'll, I'll go above and beyond if I want to trade for that pick. We do have, I believe, one slot available for a pick. So we still can do that. Either way, let's uh, let's pin him because we're going to want to keep an eye on him. All right. And now, obviously pin that franchise goaltender. Might as well pin Lazarev because we're looking to pick him up. Pin these dudes. A lot of... Uh, there's another right-handed uh, defenseman right here. Obviously, he's not going to be as good overall, so you kind of want to go for that guy who's in the 14th area. If it's not possible, then it's not possible. I'm not going to bother with the offensive defenseman. We have plenty of lefty offensive producing defensemen. Um, I'll probably just pin all these guys, and we'll take our pick in the low elites. Wow. And this guy, maybe. Hey, a bird. Defensive defenseman bird. He's not a righty, but flashbacks to uh, New York. There's another righty defensive defenseman. I think we'll probably get both these centers. At least one other of the, of the defensive defensemen. Or Jennings, mainly. Oh, yeah, just Jennings. Bird, yeah, don't really need him. But I think that's who we're going to pin here. Um, Bear Generous. It's kind of a sick name. Uh, I don't know what kind of guy this is. I'll pin him anyway, though, because uh, Daze brings me back to 90s hockey, early 2000s. Um, <laughs> all right, so I think that's who we're going to pin here in this draft. We'll have to pick and choose unless we just go all off the board, which we might as well. Well, we might do. Let's see here. Corey Perry retires. Parise retires. Brent Burns retires. He's 38. Yeah, maybe could have played one more year, but a bit of cap relief. Uh, Stasny, Krejci, Steen, Oshi, Erickson, Yandel, Lucic, all retiring. Filpula, Dubinsky, Seabrook, Giordano, the undrafted Norris winner for this year. Yeah, I'm calling it. He deserves it. Um, Pouliot, Sakara. Okay, those look like most of the main, main names in there. Kind of scroll through. You guys can check some out if you want to. Pause it if you need. But that looks like most of it. All right. Roberto Luongo finally retires at age 44. Great overall career for him. 0.917 save percentage, 2.54 goals against average. Yeah, he was, he was done. Uh, and also Hank retires age 41. The King 0.918 save percentage, 2.42 goals against, over a thousand games played, 533 wins, 74 shutouts, 
What a career for Henrik Lundqvist. Yeah, definitely time for him to retire. Right, Flurry. Yeah, he maybe could have played as a backup, but he didn't have. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was uh, Vegas declining. He's just like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, makes some sense. And then uh, letting in. Yeah, all these guys were in free agency, too. Look at all those games played. Looks like goalies are, uh, you know, more in an abundance now. And guys like this, serviceable guys aren't being picked up. Well, I'd say letting in was probably serviceable. He probably dropped. Halak may have been serviceable as well. Uh, Elliot maybe too. Okay, these other guys not so much. Definitely not. Kadobin. Okay. All right. So there's your retirements for this year. Uh, Ian Cole becomes a scout. Yeah, all right. Trade block. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And I already have the draft settings on. Before we get into the draft, though, we got to look at the awards. LA won the cup. Boo. And uh, we're going to test something. Now, someone mentioned in the comment in the last one, the Norse winner is always the leader of plus minus for defensemen. I don't know if that's the case. I've never really looked at that. I felt like that may not be, but you might be right. We'll see about that. Anyway, L.A. wins the cup. Uh, Philly got the presidents. And uh, L.A. met the Leafs in the uh, Stanley Cup finals. The Leafs drought continues, I think. I don't think they've won one. No, they haven't. <laughs> the Leafs drought continues. All right, player awards. Tomas Hurdle with the Art Ross. Hart Memorial went to Carter Hart. Oh, he's going to get some, uh, yeah. See, the uh, Makar got the Norris, so it's not just plus minus. Definitely not. Uh, but that was an interesting theory. Uh, they do seem to favor plus minus in a lot of ways. They like that, but I think it's a combination of a lot of stats. They've taken points, they got to take in plus minus. Maybe some other stats, but I figure it's probably more of points plus minus. Maybe some time on ice, too. Um, Lady Bing went to Hurdle. Dang, he's going to be taken home. Denisenko got the Calder. Grubauer got the Con Smythe. Okay. Uh, Vesna went to Carter Hart. Wilma M. Jennings, Carter Hart, two years running. Uh, Jay Dillon with the Bill Masterton. Uh, Selkie, three years running for Ryan O'Reilly. Someone's got to take that mantle from him. Ted Lindsay to Carter Hart as well. And Austin Matthews with the Maurice Richard. Yeah, Carter Hart, one, two, three. Yeah, three trophies. Four trophies for Carter Hart. My goodness. You got the heart memorial. That's so fitting. All right. So there we go. There's all the awards for this previous year. We still got a few contracts to take care of, but uh, they were asking for, well, Lafreniere. Best comment ever. Lafreniere is on crack. I agree. He's asking for $7 million. He's now He hasn't had a 50-point season yet. He's been playing a lot of third line. He's a fringe second liner right now. <laughs> he needs to get a big boost before I start paying him that kind of cash, but I might pay him anyway because I'm not just going to lose him. I'm going to die on that mountain of trying to not have him bust after playing him as a 77 in the NHL. Probably my mistake, but you know what? You live and you learn. Hindsight is 2020. NHL draft time. Let's get into it. I had a weird moment where I thought I didn't turn on the settings, but I did. I confirmed. Okay, so we got the third overall pick here. And, uh, yeah, that's going to get us a pretty damn good player. Now, we're pretty much guaranteed to get the sniper that we're after. This guy... I mean, we have, yeah, we have the third pick, so, and even if we, oh, this guy's a lefty, never mind, I don't want him, no, don't, don't drop, no one pick him, I mean, he's, his central scouting's third, our scout has him ranked it at third, or central scouting fourth, our scout has him ranked at third, so he should, I mean, either it's third or fourth, and we should, we will be able to grab him, I highly doubt he goes to second, yeah, that guy just looks way too good, overall wise. As does that guy. Whew. That's a really good uh, stuff he's got, though. So, yeah, let's just sim up to our uh, pick here. I was not expecting to be in this high in the draft. But uh, I guess it ain't too bad. 82 overall center playmaker, Maurice Denis. And, yeah, the defenseman. 80 overall defensive defenseman. Hmm. I'm hoping this guy is close to 80 overall. He might be a bit lower. Yeah, I'd say like 78, 79. So maybe we will actually want to leave him off a year and let him grow. Mm. It's a tough call. We'll see what his overall is, and that'll kind of determine what we want to do with him. But I think this is our guy. Pro release magic hands and skating. Uh, it doesn't say goal scoring. He didn't get a whole lot of goals. He is facing A-plus competition. How many shots did he have? Uh, 
189 shots in 55 games play. That doesn't seem like too much, but you got to think what line he was playing on. Probably third or fourth, so still kind of worth it. There's no one else who's better. I mean, we can grab another center playmaker. Huh. He actually took more shots. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that. I mean, we kind of were looking for the guy who might be the first liner and we can move Warrell back. And, but then we still are lacking that first line s true sniper, right? I mean, Kachuk kind of can, but if this guy gets hybrid production, I'm, yeah, I'm torn on that now. Let me back out and let me check my uh, pro prospect pool here. Let me call a timeout here because that's actually a tough decision. Now it could, I mean, almost 300 shots. You know, he is playing first line, but that's still, it's almost 300 shots. I don't know if people just shoot a lot more in the CHL. But huh, that that's making me kind of kind of think. Don't worry about uh, Galchenyuk's overall; he'll bounce back up. He's just a little demoralized right now. But yeah, I mean, we got Josh Norris. No real other. It's Warrell, and people, you know, asking, is he a true number one center? Maybe not. He does have outstanding faceoffs. I mean, that's why I think he is. But if he's not, like second, second line. And then top power play time, we can do that. I mean, is he going to grow more? Maybe. He's 88, 22. He could still grow more. So another top center who we could play in the wing on it, honestly. It's yet another playmaker, but it does look like he takes shots. So I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm extremely torn. Lafreniere's winger playmaker and Kachuk, who doesn't take that many shots. He's had one season where he took a decent chunk and was a goal scorer. But other than that, not really. On the right wing side, we got Kozlov coming up. Sniper with that low offensive awareness. Yes, he does take shots. He was playing third line, so that shot total will be higher. Anisimov was changed into a playmaker. He doesn't take a, whole, a lot of shots. None at all, really. Kulikov, 22 at 81. This guy's not going to be true first line, I don't think. Takes a decent chunk of shots. I still feel like we need shot taker as a mu and but the th nah, I don't know this guy took a d good chunk of shots but 63 overall at age 20 you know Griffin 76 we do have so many centers this guy took a lot of shots so <sighs> I think I'm gonna go with the center because the follow fails it looks like he does take a good amount of shots and we do kind of need centers. We got Lafreniere, who should be top. We still got Kachuk. And for wingers, we got a lot of guys coming up. And Yusimov, we could also move him. But we got Griffin, who's a shooter. Kulikov's a shooter, not too good. But Griffin Kulikov. Uh, and also Kozlov, but he's low on that. But still, I think we got enough of those types of guys. Left wing side of shooters. Yeah, we're lacking, but I think Lafreniere, I mean, he kind of gets hybrid production-ish. Third, mostly third line. He's not going to be a tremendous shooter by any means, but he can get 300. Like, we could balance it out. <sighs> this is the hardest decision that I'm having to make right now, really. But honestly, I think depth-wise, center is the best call. It seems kind of crazy because we still have Galchenyuk. But at the same time, centers can always kind of play anywhere, especially if he's going to be a shot taker. I don't know. And if he's good at face-offs, fuck me, man. This is a really, really, really tough decision. He's a little guy, but he's also got a 200-foot game, offensive creativity, playmaking ability. His good shot A senses are a bit lower, but... It's also going to be good at defense, too. I don't know. It just says pro release for this guy. It doesn't say goal scorer. That's the only thing that's kind of worrying me. Let's check that time on ice per game. Yeah, only 14 minutes. Let's take third line. But still, that's kind of low. It's not like he's going to be a huge, huge shot taker by the looks of it. 
14, 13. I'm spending a lot of time in this, but this is actually quite a big decision. We have a really big pick here. We have a guy, we have a chance or let's just see time on ice. He had 89 shots with about 14 minutes of time on ice per game. Let's take a look at some of our forwards here. So Lafreniere, how much time on ice do you have? You're gonna have power play time, so it might be different. Or if he's around 14, then we really know that. They, oh my goodness. Um I mean, but he was third line. He had a lot more shots though. Less games played for the other guy, sure, but ratio-wise, higher or similar. All right, let's look at actually someone who should be around. Um, oh, shoot. Uh, or else, here we go. Let's look at a third liner here. A guy who played pretty much all third line, which is actually a bit tough. Or, you know what, let me look at a fourth liner. Someone like Batherson. He was pure fourth line all year with no special teams time. 111 shots in 82 games played. Round four, yeah, he did have penalty kill. So was that guy on the power play? <laughs> huh. If he was, you're gonna want to take a look at that. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards a playmaker at this point. I'm checking his power. If he got, yeah, he was on the power play. So that's maybe fourth line with some power play time. But still, any only 89 shots in 55 games played. You expect to like two shots per game. With power play time. Ah. I don't know. Maybe I'm expecting too much, but I don't know. I really think that McElhaney might be a slightly better pick here. So, I'm just going to go with it. I know it's kind of crazy, but I'm just, we were planning on the other guy, but I'm going with this one. 78 overall. What if the other guy's higher overall? He might be, but... I think this guy just fits better. So, oh, they're the same overall. Okay. Yeah, it's that was a tough call. You saw how much time I spent on that one pick, but it's a very tough. Wow, dropped off real quick right there. Very interesting. All right, now the question is, do we still want that right-handed defensive defenseman who is projected to go around, what, 13? Or something like that? I think I do. I mean, I am going to get some more, but it's medium elite. It's going to be higher overall. We need more guys closer to be... Because if those red elites... Uh, med yeah, low elites don't work out, then we are going to want... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah, we're going to want a guy who's also coming up around that same age. The other guys are going to take a lot longer to develop, who are the low elites or way down further in the draft. So 13th overall. Maybe try to trade for the 12th to be safe. They don't want to give that up, unfortunate. Um, 11th, I don't want to go too high, but 13th is pushing it. I don't want to give up that one either, shoot. Are we gonna be able to get this at all? Maybe not. Okay, they want to give, this is a risk. I'll wait, I'll wait until we're actually there. Cause it's not smart to make that trade and have him perhaps, uh, being perhaps picked up. Or, oh, you know, you know what? Let me see what kind of trade would work. Or may work. Let me just see what kind of assets I need to put on the table here. That's a better idea. Um, try to hold on to our picks, obviously. What can we move here? We could move one of the goalies. We are going to get a franchise here, most likely. But I kind of like how both of them are. Ah, yeah, we could move Svensson. We could maybe even pick up another pick in that, but let's just hold off on there for a bit. Honestly, considering moving Brandstrom now, he's 23, only at 82 overall. He's on a great contract, sure, but we got Terrell and Odell here who are much, much better than him and both lefties. Peterstrom's going to be ready. Does give us six though with Branstrom in there. We do still have Larson, but he's done. I mean, we're gonna let him go. So I, I guess I'll hold on to that. Yeah. All right. It'll have to be some kind of potential forward here. Yeah. Logan Brown lost that stat growth, so he's now a true third line center. I'd much rather hold on to Norris. I have him extended. Good shot taker. 
I'm, I still want to give Logan Brown another chance at that. Uh, but we got to put, we got to throw something in. That's this is the issue here. Something's got to go in for that. And that's where I'm kind of struggling to find the value. We could package in a couple of these guys. The top fours. Who's the guy I don't like as much? We have a lot of defensive defensemen. Let me put that guy in and then feet off. Would those two be enough for that pick? Probably not. Uh, it's actually close. You know what? I think that might go through for that pick. Froats and Svitov. So we'll keep we'll keep that in mind. Froats Svitov for the 13th. That looks like it should go through. It's just about timing. We don't want them to make that pick. So we'll remember Froats and Svitov in the defensive area. And we'll get up to there. Make sure he doesn't get picked uh, ahead of schedule. And then if he... Cause that's really only. I'm not gonna go try to get a pick that we that is not on the block. That's just gonna be way too hard. We'll have to give up too much. We gotta manage our assets here. Come on, come on, come on. We're looking good so far. Uh, Minnesota, don't don't do me dirty. Do you want to give up your pick right now? They might. Sometimes they change their minds. Nope, they still don't. Please don't pick that elite, you bastards. I will hate you forever. Yes. Okay. 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 Go. Go. All right. Operation, hurry the f up. We're going for this. We're giving them two solid defensive prospects for one, essentially. Froats, Svitov. Yes. Uh, yeah, I know. Too many skaters. We have to take someone back. Should actually plan that and had a name, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. We just need someone. Mm, fuck it. Yeah. JB, I don't care. Uh, is this going to go through? I don't know. Yes. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you ripped me off. I disagree. You did get two serviceable defensemen, but I'm gonna get one who should put. He's pretty much a, uh, a great top four guaranteed. So Jeffrey Schultz, get on my team. Yeah, and uh, he meshed well in any locker room. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. I just want to double check right there. Kind of late after I made the trade, but you know, balance, strength, defensive zone play. Doesn't doesn't have good shot utilization, but that, that does that matter for a defensive defenseman? No, that's the answer. No. All right, Jeffrey Schultz. Bam. 65 overall medium elite at age 18. Yeah, this guy's two, three years off. So that's really good for us. We could do, That'll give us a decent amount of time to test out those two low elite, uh, low, yeah, low elite uh, right-handed defensemen that we have coming up. Perfect. Okay, so we did acquire that pick for nothing. We've made two picks. Let me check how many picks I have. I'm pretty sure I only came in here with eight, but let's just make sure. If I have more, I have to trade one. So two, three, four, five... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So no more acquiring picks, but we didn't go over the quota. So we're all good. We're all Gucci main. All right. So I'm up to the next pick here. We got this. Might be a bit too higher than I was thinking. Oh, there's another elite right after him. Two way forward. Chung. Good job for you, Oilers. Wow. Okay, there you go. Two top nines at the end. I was going to say, they're lasting a lot. It's pretty deep. Doesn't look like any elites have gone, so I'm, I didn't think I had. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is right near where their next guy is. That you know, it's actually right on. Yeah, that's a bit risky to do that. It's another center. Yeah, I know, but weak on faceoffs. So boo, you don't like those guys. In fact, is there even someone better who I want to grab? We have seven more picks. And there's eight guys here. Do I want this guy more? Left-handed defensive defenseman. He is a medium elite. That's a lot more value. You know what? Yes, since I did pick the center, I think I'll just grab this guy instead. <laughs> um, for, do we have two seconds, though? Oh, we shouldn't. Oh, if we do, I have to trade one, actually. Because I'm only allowed to have three. Uh-oh. Oh, we actually do. I need to trade a pick. Okay. Because we're only allowed to have uh, three picks in the first two rounds. Uh, with this format, so let's trade away this pick, put it in the bank. Let's grab another third because we can have unlimited thirds. Oh, you don't have a third? Of course not. Why would you? Who has thirds? Thirds are overrated. You guys have thirds. You have a third. And you don't want to give it up, but you're a bitch. You're gonna give me that. Mm -hmm. What? I clicked on it. Give me a third. Thank you. And a pick from next year. Maybe two thirds. I don't think I'll be able to get that. They don't have a third from next year. 
zero chance I get that. There's yeah, I'm not even gonna try. All right, you know what? I want I want two thirds if I could do this. If I can, I'll I'll, I'll get two thirds. Eh, it's a really weak third, but whatever. It's two of them. There we go. All right. So we got a third from this year, third from next year. We still have our limit, but yeah. So I'm going to go for the left-handed defensive defenseman just because he's medium elite, I think. I didn't pin this guy. Why didn't I not pin this guy? I didn't even pin him. Whatever. Who cares? I knew in advance that I, didn't, I wasn't going to take him. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we just go for Nurmi here. And then just kind of go off the board with every other pick. We're going to kind of mi maybe miss out on one. But maybe not. I think I'll be able to line it up correctly. We'll see. I definitely don't want to miss the franchise. That's one thing I'm definitely not missing. So we got to make sure we get that. Yeah, let's grab this. Trade value, if anything. 57 overall. Yeah, it's not going to be great. All right, next pick is at 73. Yeah, we're just going to keep picking straight off of our pin list. We're not going to go for anything else. Value, value, and more value. All right, who's next on the pin list? The 99. Yeah, I'll grab him. Next pick, I think I'll grab the franchise. I might miss out on some of these other guys, but it doesn't matter. I did kind of want to check out this guy because, you know, the low elite thing, but it doesn't look like a huge shot ticker either. Hard to say, though. Um, anyway, uh, this is another right-handed defenseman, but way, way lower overall. So there's he is a good leader, though. I like that. Not a great skater, but good leader for the future. Kind of doubling down on all these right-handed, but that's okay. And then for the rest... Uh, mm. Yeah, it looks really hard to say whether they're shot takers or not. <laughs> so maybe that sniper would have been a great pickup as well. But still, the, the center playmaker did, dude did take a lot of shots. But again, I, I don't know what that means in the league he's at. I have, to do a, I have to do way more work than I'm willing to do to figure all that crap out. Anyway, let's... uh. Let's just grab uh, Landon Reagan here. 50 overall, medium elite, and I'm pretty sure he was 18, I hope, right? Yeah, okay, good. He at least has a lot of time to get there. All right, so our next pick will be 90-something, 90 92, and now we're going to pick the goaltender. So we're going to miss out on a couple of these guys unless I shift up and pick and choose, which I may do here, but let's just make sure we grab him, not missing out. Yeah, I'm Dingman. Uh, Could be decent. I mean, he's medium elite, and that's what I'm really after. Not a good skater, but good work ethic, good maturity. But obviously, we need the franchise. It's not going to be that good. Puck control doesn't matter, but D minus and C minus. It's not horrible. Plus, he's 17. So obvious, and it's a franchise goaltender. You always grab the franchise goaltender. You have 47. Not great, but hey. Still decent. So now we got to decide. Do I want some of those other ones? Maybe. When's our next pick? 104. Oh, we're going to get one of them confirmed. So, yeah. Ah! I was trying to go to Sim. It was on there for a split second. Get out of here, game. Thank you. Sim to use your pick. We can still grab the medium elite. And I think I'll just go for that trade value. Dingman. Pretty sure that's the way to go here. I'm just going to pick him and not care. Bam. 49 overall. And at this point, whoever I get is awesome. I could miss a couple here. There's still plenty. There's also an almost elite. Hold on a sec. This guy is not a confirmed elite. We can grab two of these guys. At the very end, hold the phone. One away. Oh, it's an offensive defenseman. But still, Jem, one away from... I think he's going to be an elite. I highly doubt he's going to be a top four, a medium top four at this stage in the draft. Highly doubtful. He can't be a top six, can he? I think that guy's elite. Uh, for trade value, from that perspective, it's great. Honestly, it's just the best pick. Okay, it's the best. Yeah, let's take a chance on that. I'm pr I have a really good feeling. And even though he is an offensive defense, we don't necessarily need it. Eh, trade value. 
Taro Teravinen. The Finns. Yep. 47 overall, but still, it's a medium elite. <laughs> and that's what we were after. There we go. All right. Yeah, that's a gem and a half. Fifth round medium elite pick. All right. So we got two more picks here. And we'll kind of take our pick of the litter, essentially. I'm going to skip out on Winterberg. I don't think he'll be a, a low elite. I just don't. It's just that. This, the ranking, I've had it before where I've picked guys who were 100% scouted as low elite. Picked them when they were ranked. Like back here, they, they immediately switched to AHL. I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know if it's been fixed. But I'm not a fan. Bird's a lefty. Daze, uh, not confirmed low elite. Weak defensive consistency. Don't like either of those, really. Grit and strength in defense's own play. That's just better. Nothing to report. Oh, he's weak on face-offs. What a surprise. It's late in the draft. Yeah, let's just grab, I think, Papineau and Bird. I will lie about his head. All right, let's go. And we're not going to see that other guy get picked, so we won't know what he is. But I, I just have a really, really strong feeling that he's not a true elite because I've had that happen before and got absolutely screwed. I mean, not screwed because it's like your seventh round pick. You just didn't get the steal that you wanted. So let's grab Kyler Bird now. Interesting name. Whoa! 61 overall. What age is he? Okay, he's 19. That makes a bit more sense. I was like, wait a sec. He's, yeah, okay. If he was 18, though, that would have been an incredible steal. But he's not. It's still 19, 61 overall. He's doing pretty good. He's doing pretty good for himself there. All right. There we go. That completes the entry draft of whatever the hell year this is. We got McElhaney, Schultz, Nurmi, Reagan, Andronov, Dingman, Teravine, and Pavano, and Bird. Did we get all elites and higher? I think we did. I think this was a pure elite draft. Yeah. Medium elite. Medium elite. Fuck was Nermy. I forget. But I'm pretty sure this was a... Yeah. I think this was just a full elite draft. No big deal. Wasn't even supposed to be a good draft year for us, but it ended up being probably one of our better drafts ever. Oh, hi. Scouts need to come back. Come back to me. All right. What do you guys got, huh? Who are you? Oh, yeah, you're not going anywhere, sir. Get in my payroll. The USA East. Go oh, it's not. A yeah, stupid switchy. I could look for, you know, I'll fire this guy. Uh, NHL guy can hold on to. NHL scouts aren't that important. I'd rather just not bother with trying to find better ones and friggin' be who the hell cares. Um, I could fire, I'm gonna hire this guy, I'll look for a better OHL scout, for the, uh, primary one, I almost said a first dairy, and then my mind was like, no, it's tertiary, I'm like, no, that's third, good stuff, um, yeah, Niederberger, I'll fire, uh, I'll release him, sorry, not firing, I'll release him, so we have one scout spot available to look for better scouts, and we'll look for, yes, thank you. Um, and we'll look for a better OHL scout and maybe some other ones. Ah, uh, Quentin Worrell. What? Oh. Wait. Did I not sign him? Did I not offer these guys contracts in the last episode? I could have swore I did. Am I hallucinating? I could have swore I offered these guys contracts in the last episode. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did, though. That's a lot. Let's do the five year here. It takes him up until he's 27. A bit more of a... Maybe I didn't, but I thought... <laughs> I thought I did. I'm freaking out right now. Maybe could have saved a bit more money, but still, five-year deal around eight mil for this guy who's playing first-line center for us. Yeah, he hasn't shown much, but still. So I can get him, honestly, right there. That's what I should be able to get him for, unless he's like, meh. In which case, I'll be like, meh, right back. Yeah, what the fuck? I thought I signed a couple of these guys. God damn, we can get such a good deal for Josh Norris, though. Yeah, 2.75, man. 
or 2.725 actually, I should be able to get them for you. Yep. Big deal. Uh, does Ingle didn't want to come back, I don't blame him. He's gone anyway. I don't need you much anymore. Jumps right back up to 84 when we're done with him. Typical. All right, Lafreniere, you still want freaking 7 mil? No. Smart boy. There you go. That's what, that's, this is called a tiered contract system. Get fucking used to it. You ain't getting top money. What do you think this is, Toronto? Get out of here. All right. Two-year little bridge deal for, uh... Lafreniere, Balsers, yeah, three years, he's still going until he's 29, it's not a, it's not going to break the bank, he's a very flexible player, he can play in a lot of different places, we need guys like that right now, we're still searching, uh, Lindbergh, Larson's gone, don't need him, uh, Hyman, I really like Hyman, but we might have some more guys breaking into the NHL, so can I still keep him? I do really like Hyman. He's tremendous defensively. Olenin doesn't want to come back. VC doesn't want to. Okay, so I yeah, I guess I'll release VC and keep on Hyman. Because we're going to have to release one of them, but most likely. So, okay, we'll do that. Keep Hyman. Wants a bit more, but we have plenty of money. It's not really going to be an issue. 1.7. He says, is he still cheeses these guys' contracts? But uh, it's just habit. And you got to always be planning for the future. Always act like you're at the wall. And then overpay Lindbergh to pay for my AHL. But we can bury that contract. Jaros, you're capped out at 79. You are now listed as a top six. Which is unfortunate because I want to use you as depth. Fro Lake didn't work out for us. Because <laughs> we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, Formington. You and your low crap. I don't think I'm even going to want this guy. I might just let him go. I didn't grab anything back for him, but... I don't want him. He can't even really play my AHL. It's not like his offensive stats are crazy good or anything. This guy's just dead weight. Bye. All right, uh, DeMello, uh, he doesn't want to come back. Let's see. He'll be a depth again. He can, we can have, yeah, him, he, he yeah, we can have a uh, be depth again. One year only. Please, sir. Uh, Sturts, you a carrier? Yes. Let's get you back. Uh, two years, no. They always stick with one. All right. Do we sign McElhaney? Probably. We could play him AHL or uh, juniors if we really want to to train him up, which I might actually, in fact, do for a year. I could just leave him off contract then in that case. We'll see what we ha we'll see what happens. All right. Kwabasari. Sign him. Entry level into the AHL immediately. A bunch of more entry levels here. So let's get them all under contract. Havilid, the guy who grows stupidly. Klimchuk, don't need Beagle. We picked him up in a deal. I'll have to check on... All right, Gov is now ready for AHL. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, check on our forwards versus defensemen for AHL. Uh, H, I can probably release Harper or someone else. Percy, or no, I'll get to him and then. Yeah, I could probably release a few of these defensemen with how many we're signing right now who are AHL ready. Sign him anyway. Yeah, we could release a few, man. We might take a step back this year, AHL wise, by the looks of it. All right, let me take a look at who's going to be on my AHL team. So Lindbergh. Uh, Kozlov's hit or miss. McElhaney, likely juniors. Sturz we signed low. Probably still afford a couple of these guys. They could just sit there. I have money. I'm just going to get them. I don't want to. Don't want to bother right now. I'm trying to nitpick. Klimchuk might not accept that. that. That was offering him really, really low for that. 
All right, defenseman will be a bit more tricky, though. Let's see. Uh, DeMello doesn't want to come back, so obviously release him. I'm not going to worry about trying to get him back. Jaros will sign him. Might even still play him AHL. Who knows? Oh, my God. Uh, I'm not going to undercut him too much. Uh, Wolanin doesn't want to come back either, but he wasn't very good, so that's okay. So we'll release him. We're going to hand it over to a lot of our younger guys now. Uh, like, Havilid's going to be there. All right, well, I'm holding off on Falk, but Havilid... Gov, Gov, whatever. Um, uh, Twoman in, that's three. All right, that's only three. Okay, so. <laughs> Let's sign a, a few here. Well, Harper was always good depth. I'll keep him around for two years. He's not going to decline, so that's actually safe. Falk is a one-year guy, though. But Jaros. Yeah, we can do Jaros. Havilid. You know what? Yeah, we'll do Lajoie's depth. We'll keep Jaros in the AHL, probably. Because he's now listed as top six. And I don't want to, we, we want to stay away from morale issues. So Jaros, Havilid, uh, I guess Falk, Gov, Harper, Twoman, and, oh my god, I lost, oh fuck it, I'm just sign him. Might need one more here though. Bump you up, I don't think you're going to like that deal. I think that's six. Yeah, it's six. Okay. That's minimum, we still would like a depth guy. We could find one or, we'll see. We might even find like uh, a def uh, yeah we can we can grab a defenseman, but yeah Pedersen is going to be NHL so we have our six guys right here. We're going to hold on to Branson for a bit just to play top six, maybe give him some power play time to keep him happy. But I think it's time for Tyrell Tanev or yeah Odell. Man, I hope he grows more. I, could, I would love to play him with Shabbat, even though he'd be like opposite hand or whatever. I mean he's just really well built. Two two way guys together. All right, goaltenders, yeah, so, Hallett, you're actually kind of done here, honestly. Aginla might be ready for starting roll. Uh, we don't need the backup, I should have traded him, but whatever. Don't need the backup, I'll sign the fringe starter. Yeah, Hallett, you're not going anywhere by the looks of it. Or I could sign you and use you as a backup, that's silly, we're not trying to tank here, we're trying to get good. Uh, is there going to be a great goalie in free agency? Maybe, but for sure I'm getting rid of Mrazek. I'm wondering if I use like Subban as a backup. How much is he going to want though? We have freaking hella cash though. Don't want him for that long. I don't think. Well, doesn't price doesn't change too much, but if there is a great goalie in there, then we could pick one up. But yeah, I'm going to have Ginla and uh, Sokolov be my AHL goaltenders. We're kind of handing a lot of... Uh, the reins over to younger guys in a lot of ways this year. I'm yeah, I'm gonna hold on to Subban just because in case he actually might be a decent, well, really, really good backup. And he simmed pretty well last year. Like he didn't sim bad when we were just auto-rotating. Speaking of which, I need to turn those back off. Or back on. Oh my god. Wrong math there. There we go. Three, four, four, three point four five then essentially for two years. That's not bad at all. Yep, it's really good. To your deal. Okay, um, let's advance a day, clean some of that stuff up, see what I'm working with. Cash-wise as well. All right, yeah, because we got a lot of cap free up. Remember, we are overpaying so many guys. Norris rejected, okay. Harper also rejected. Balsas reject. Jesus, Jesus! Okay. That's fine. We got plenty of cash. I just wasn't expecting that many to uh, reject there. But yeah, quite a few rejected. Well, that, did, that, did Warrell just reject too? What a bitch. I, I could have swore I offered him a goddamn contract and I don't know why I didn't go through. Alright, I'll give you 8.5. Let's bounce you up a little bit from the 8. Same with you, Norris. The hell's your issue? Yeah, he just wanted to, you know, I might just give him that, but I, I wanted him to secure him for longer. So, you know what, 3 by 3 will be just fine for this guy. He, he's well above his capability. Let's try that. Balsers, I still want you to come back as well. You know, you're flexible enough. The, these, yeah, these contracts really won't matter. Look how much cash we have, dude. It's ridiculous. 
and I still want Hyman to come back. Also, I'll pay one by two. Won't even bother. Jaros, yes. Still want Jaros. Could bury the contract anyway. <laughs> Way too much, but whatever. Could also use him as depth. We'll see what happens. I'm holding off on signing McElhaney. I might leave him off contract for a year and not like waste a year of the uh, entry level. Plus, will I be able to get him scouted? And then I can sign him mid-year if something, if I really want to, but... Not too concerned. Well, I'll try to do what uh, I should have done with Lafreniere with him. Just let him play a year in juniors. Because <laughs> 78 is really cutting it close, man. Kapusta, yeah, same kind of thing. Let him keep off. Uh, yeah, so Harper. He had a feeling he wouldn't like the contract that was offered. There you go, dude. If you, if you decline that, you're high. Straight up. Okay, and Subban declined, I'm pretty sure, as well, yeah. All right, I'm decreasing your fine, dude. Two by four. Like, just take it. Take it and choke on it. Now, is that it? I think so. Let's uh, let's try that again. No one better uh, decline here. If Warrell declines, I'll be extremely upset, dude. Norse still rejected. Harper accepted. Balser's accepted. Jaros. <sighs> this pisses me off to no end because I'm I, I am almost positive in my head. I offered these guys contracts. And then when I was simming, like I didn't see him pop up. If I didn't, let me know. But I thought like I thought I did there. I could have swore I offered some of these guys contracts. And now they're trick freaking trying to get me to break the bank here. I'm bringing it up little by little, dude. Norris as well. Like, what the hell? I just offered you a 3x3 three three and you declined it. I think this is the only two left, though. So that is the good news. Unless, no, I'm pretty sure Subban accepted. Yeah, just those two left. Yeah, that's it. So, I mean, that's at least good. Yikes, though. Okay, we got Norris. War else still rejected like a bitch. God damn. I'm still, I'm going to die on the hill that I, I offered this guy a contract last, last year. I honestly, I can't recall me not doing that. I swear, Orel, if you don't accept, Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> I'm tendering him now, obviously, because I don't, I'm not, not going to lose that crap, but my goodness. Are you really being like this right now? If I offer you exactly what you want and you don't accept, I'm going to be so upset. It's five years. Now he accepts. Yeah, fine. I just don't, I don't want to lose him. We're going to be able to save a lot of money in a lot of places still. But my goodness. <laughs> what a chore that was. Let me just double check everything. Still salty. Very, very salty. Because I thought I extended him already. As I said, how many times already? Count, do a count, but I don't have unsigned players. You're lying. Just checked. That always happens when you sign a guy very close to the end. Okay, advance day. Into free agency. Free agency. Uh, Should have said that. Could have been a poet. But opted for proper en English instead, which, come on. Who uses proper English nowadays? Okay, so let's take a look at the free agent uh, class here. Goalies especially. Mainly goalies. Who else am I kidding? We don't need anything else. We need a freaking goalie. Oh, there's Nathan McKinnon wanting 15 million. Come on, come on, big money, big money. You all suck so much. Well, we can get Yel Ned Yelkovich, and I've seen this guy get stat growth. No one's interested in him right now. Get him like a matching two-year deal. We could spend a bit of cash on like six mil for two years, and that'll be fine. And then we'll have an 84 and an 85 goaltender. Maybe that'll be better than two 84s. Or I could just give him five. I'll give him like five and a half for two years. I think that should get him. Oh, wait, there's also Rene here who doesn't want much, so that's going to drop. That's for sure dropping. I'm not trusting that at all. <laughs> I think we should go for Nidhi Elkovich. Yeah, I think that's the best call right here. 
In which case, we will have more cash to work with, so we can grab something, 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 something dark side. Wow, Patrick Kane. Hi. Right-handed? Anyone? Bueller? No. Yes, but it's an offensive defenseman. Not exactly what we're after. And with how much value we have, I'd rather get something of the exactly what we're after variety. But, we'll see. Maybe some people want to see him anyway. But we got to be careful with some of the cap. We'll have larger contracts coming in. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go for any of these top guys. It's kind of ridiculous. Damn, dude. Two teams already interested in McKinnon. Who's willing to pay that? I just want to see who's willing to pay that. Washington, Pittsburgh. Okay. Pasternak asking for 10 mil. VGK, Vancouver, New Jersey. Okay. Pretty interesting to see uh, what teams are interested in him and such. All right. Anyway, we got everything taken care of. Correct me if I'm wrong about that contract thing, but I'm pretty damn sure I offered him contract. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> but uh, whatever. Anyway. That takes care of everything. Yeah, so what a draft that was. All elite draft. We got free agency ahead of us. What should we do? I think definitely grab that goalie. Have at least two solid goaltenders waiting for a true elite. Trying to get someone's stat growth. We have just been striking out on goalies this entire franchise. And as a result, lacking some playoff uh, appearances. But at the same time, we have been lacking offense. And I'm sure some people want, will be you know, in my ear about that. You need more offense and maybe grab one of those free agents. I'm hoping to grow into our offense, but maybe that's not the case. So let me know what you guys think about the free agent class and who we should pursue. Remember to leave that like and I'll see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.